and good afternoon from Disneyland. Now, yeah, it is what? A um, little after five o'clock, so you're probably wondering what is going on with the big time jump. The truth, the fact of the matter is we actually were here earlier. We met up with one of our friends and she is a member of Club 33. So we had a nice lunch. Obviously, I can't take the camera into that, um, but we had a great time. But then Little Man was so tired from getting up so early this morning for disembarkation. Am I saying that right? Disembarkation? Okay. So we actually went back to our hotel, took a nap, and so now we are back. We're gonna get him some dinner and we're gonna do some rides. It has been a minute since we have been here in Disneyland. Um, the crowd actually doesn't look too bad. When we came here earlier this afternoon, we were here probably around 11.30 trying to get the gates. It was quite busy, so this is much better. All right, and we are in. Yeah, so I think we're gonna go hit up uh, Main Street first. Little Man is dying for an Uncrustable, and I have to admit, it has been a hot minute since he has had a good peanut butter and jelly sandwich, so I think we're gonna go scout him one of those. Well, here's something you can only get in Disneyland. You can see the peak of the Matterhorn. It's kind of behind this tree. Let me move around here. But I can see the Matterhorn peeking out from Main Street. All right, I have to admit, we are not having much luck trying to find an Uncrustable here. Um, Steve thinks maybe somewhere in Fantasyland. I've been looking on the mobile app and I haven't seen anything, so fingers crossed. But here we are going into Sleeping Beauty Castle. One thing that I will say that Disneyland 100% has over Disney World or Magic Kingdom is their Fantasyland. I love the look of this little storybook village. Okay, we are still on this mission. Oh, there goes the monorail. I love the Disneyland monorail. But um, yeah, we have had no luck so far in securing a unencrustable, not in Fantasyland. So we're gonna try Toontown. I think that's gonna be one of our best bets. We have already planted the seed that it's like, hey buddy, if we can't find an Uncrustable, you're gonna have to make a different decision. Cause here's the deal. The thing he really wants is a churro, but he's gotta eat something of substance first. The other thing I forgot is that here in Mickey's Toontown, again, it's been so long since we've been to Disneyland that they now have Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway here. So I think we're gonna go check that out. All right, so the other reason why I wanted to come here to Toontown to see if they have an Uncrustable is I know that we wanted to check out Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway here in Toontown. So, excited. It's absolutely adorable. It fits in perfectly here in Toontown. That's going to be a lot of fun for him, too. Yeah, here it is. How cute is this? The El Capitoon Theater. I love this facade. How cute is this? Perfect picnic basket. Step one, pick up your perfect picnic basket. Check this out. How cute is this? And I guess you can put your hand right through there. And then step two, choose three snack items. Step three, choose a small Dasani water or Minute Maid juice box. So basically you're just putting your own picnic together. This is so, oh, and then there's a perfect picnic blanket for $14.99. This is too cute. Okay, we found some success here at Cafe Daisy. Not success in regards of the Uncrustable. Apparently they don't have them here in Toontown. So, but Caleb, he, we, we showed him like the kids meals and stuff, but his eye gravitated to our hot dog. So I think we're gonna try and get him, probably not this dressed up dog, probably a, um, a plain hot dog, but it's something, right? But here it is Cafe Daisy. I'll give you a, in case you're curious to know what they have. Alrighty. What is that? That's lemonade for you. Oh, <gasps> you are right. Sugar-free lemonade. Oh, Dad got you a lemonade. It's That's cool. Free. It's sugar-free. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we got little man. A, uh, well, it's dinner. But I have to admit, it has been a long time. I, actually, I don't know if I've ever eaten here in Toontown before. It's been a, a long time. Since yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> so we got him a hot dog. And look at this crazy hot dog, Caleb. Whoa! No way. <laughs> I can eat those things that. Okay, we're going to cut the ends off because it's a little wonky to eat for a little man. <laughs> Alright, there you go. You want me to put ketchup on there? And it looks like they came with some like little chips. They almost look like they're freshly made, like house made chips. Oh, yeah? Oh, pretty good. Yeah. 
So I have to admit that all the packaging here in Toontown is pretty pretty on point. So mm -hmm. that picnic basket idea is very cute. That was super cute. Fish bowl. Even like the packaging for the, these chips are, are well appointed. So yeah. we're doing pretty good here. There he goes, folks. <laughs> it's a big bite. How is it? Good? Oh, so what do we got going on here? I have a wiggly tooth. Your wiggly tooth is getting wigglier? Look it. Okay. Oh yeah, that's wiggly. Oh, yikes. <laughs> I get shivers looking at that. I hate it. Just be careful, bud. Are you like pulling it out? No, I wiggle it. Okay. I like my hand. Just be careful when you're eating the hot dog, okay? Um, I... It'll come out when it's ready. It'll come out when it's ready. Oh, look at that. You ate the whole hot dog, man. <laughs> Good job. Wait, I fished three buns. Oh, you're going to finish the buns, too? Yeah, I'm going okay. to All right, well, okay. if you've got room for it, go for it. I have to admit, at this point, every time he takes a bite, I'm just looking at that tooth now. <laughs> All right, I think you have earned a dessert. After we go on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway? Yeah. All right, and now it's time for Runaway Railway. Oh yeah, so obviously the queue is going to be very, very different here than it is in Hollywood Studios. Yes, this is Runaway Railway. Looks did, different, huh? Did Mickey make this? Mickey made it. I think he did. <laughs> I love the posters. Oh wow, look at this. That's cool. It's like, I don't know where to look. There's like so much to look at here. Mickey's birthday party cake. This is a prop cake. It is not real. Trust us. We tried it. it oh real? my goodness. The bean stuff. Oh, the and I can hear it like growing. It. Do you hear it? Oh yeah. There's the beans. That's awesome. Oh, Pluto's Christmas tree. Oh my God, this is awesome. This is one of our favorite shorts. We always watch it during the holidays. This is so cute. There's the little Santas that Chip and Dale mess around with. Okay, this was like literally my favorite album as a kid, the Disco Mickey Mouse album. If you had it, let me know. Oh my God, it was the best. So one thing I'm just now noticing is that the posters, they started at the very beginning with the, with the vintage stuff. And as we progressed, it, it, you know, it was chronologic. And now we've got more of the more, I'm trying not to film people, sorry guys. The more recent Mickey Mouse shorts, to which I assume leads us to his latest film, Perfect Picnic. Oh, this is much smaller. Please do not lean on or touch those silver barriers in the front. And for my friends in the back, just be sure to be all the way past the black line on the floor. The doors will be closing automatically. Quick little look in here. As you can see, it's really cute, but yeah, it's much smaller than at Disney World. To the trains, this one looks, this part looks very similar to Hollywood Studios.
So this one we exit out of a store. They've got a lot of fun stuff in here. So what'd you think? It was good. There was a few minor differences. Right. So um, the ride track, um, the switch is a different switch. Yeah. Um, the exit in the water area is a different. Uh -huh. um, there's a few other things as I well. I didn't feel like, I don't think it simulated like going down the waterfall as good here as it does no. in Hollywood Studios. But we were also the last car in that area, so it may have been just okay. a little bit rushed on that. So. All right. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to ruin it for everybody by giving right. all the little tricks away. But also the final scene when the factory turns into like a, a the park. fire, that is not as good as Disney World. Yeah. All right. That's all I'm gonna say. All right. Yes. Well, at least we did it. And you know what? Did you like it, bud? Yeah. Is okay, that your wait, favorite wait. ride? Oh, hold on. But a positive, the queue is phenomenal. Oh yeah, the queue is very cute. Yes, they did a good job with that. Absolutely, amazing job. So, yeah, they got that. All right, Caleb, what time is it? I don't know. Is it churro time? Yeah. <laughs> churro time. I don't know what time. Oh, you didn't know what time it was? Oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean it so literal. All right, here we go. Caleb. Oh, my own baked churro. Look at that thing, man. So he was amazed. So here's the background. There's a little Mexican food place that we order food from, and one of the desserts are mini churros. So Caleb has only really ever known churros as mini churros. So when we came into Disneyland and he saw this, he saw someone walking around with this thing, he was like, oh man, he zeroed in on that thing. You excited? Yeah. Look at this. Thing. Oh, there's a duck. Okay, take a bite. You gotta let us know how it is. Okay. Gotta think real hard. <laughs> Everyone's waiting. What do you think? <laughs> All right, good. Has the best stuff ever. Ever. Look inside. Oh, okay. Let's look in it. Oh, yeah. I see cinnamon and sugar. Is it the best churro ever? Uh -huh. Pretty good. <laughs> so, unpopular opinion. It's not that I don't like churros, I just don't seek them out. I'm the same. I'm the same. Yeah. yeah. I, I would rather have something a little bit more like decadent chocolate, peanut butter, caramel, ducks, monorails, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> just got distracted. But um, no offense to those churros lo churro lovers, but eh, I can pass. So, little man is going to finish up his churro, and then after this, we're heading to the Matterhorn. Every time I want to mention the Matterhorn, I keep pausing because I keep wanting to say Everest. <laughs> I am so out of my element yes, you here. Are. You gotta fix that. <laughs> Monorails are just going back and forth here. This one's so cute with all the different Mickeys on it. Of course, if there is one thing that this place has over Magic Kingdom, it is the weather. <laughs> it is so nice right it now. It is very nice, yeah. <laughs> Can't beat that, that's for sure. All right, so here we go. Matterhorn bobsleds. Caleb, he's in the front. We got the primo seat. All right, as much as I love this ride, I do have to say it is so hard on my back. Pray for me.
you think? Hey, why is that one there? Oh, I don't know. Did you like it? Yeah. Good job, bud. That was fun, huh? Yeah. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. You were so brave. Good job, man. Was it loud? That that bottle of snowman could be a little loud, yeah. Making our way over to Tomorrowland. I got the we got the Finding Nemo submarines over here. Okay, so I don't think we told you guys this, but we each picked a ride. Caleb wanted to do run, uh, Caleb wanted to do Runaway Railway. Steve picked Matterhorn. I'm choosing my favorite, which is Disneyland's Space Mountain. This one is far superior. This is probably my favorite ride here. Here we go into space. Oh yeah, it wasn't real. You're right. It wasn't real space. Well, here we are. Oh my gosh, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, man? And your eyes are closed, Mike. That's a horrible <laughs> picture for all of us. Okay, and with that, it is getting a little bit late and we have had a long day. So I think we are going to start making our way back to the hotel and call it a night. Good morning from Disneyland. Yes, it is now the next day. Um, we are actually only here for a couple of hours. We do have a lunch reservation coming up here. Um, we're going to be going to Carthay Circle Restaurant, which is one of our favorite spots. But yeah, it's just kind of like a quick little like wrap up here in Disneyland before we start the trek home. It is our last official day of vacation, but we're still going to have a lot of fun. Yep, it's another beautiful day here in Disneyland. As I always see here in Anaheim, California, it's always a little bit overcast, maybe just a little cloudy and gray in the morning, but it always clears up. But I have to admit, that makes for a very nice day. Wow, we just met one of you guys. Yeah, at usually, Disneyland. Usually we don't get spotted here at Disneyland, Not so at that was but pretty thank nice. thank you for coming up. Yeah. Of course, you see us always we, come up. We love talking to yes. meet you guys, so yeah. So on this vacation, on a cruise we got spotted, which was yeah. amazing, and then here, so yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we love it. Okay, no, I didn't show you guys this yesterday because it wasn't much to look at, but uh, the Disneyland City Hall is under construction, refurbishment, whatever you want to call it. But it looks like just last night they put up the tarp that kind of gives you the impression that it's out. Because yesterday this was just full of scaffolding. And it appears that the Disneyland Fire Department is under the tarps as well. Because, yeah, this was all exposed with um, scaffolding yesterday. So I do like when they put this up because it just makes it look a little bit more aesthetic walking down main street it's kind of funny because as much as i love sleeping beauty castle i mean it is so tiny compared to cinderella in um, magic kingdom so you kind of have to go out into the middle of the walkway a ways before you can actually get a good view of it oh my gosh okay in my, with my eyes i can see it but with the viewfinder kind of have to zoom in a bit but still lovely nonetheless yeah, so we're only going to do a couple rides here today. Um, I think we're going to head over to Fantasyland and do Alice in Wonderland because that, as of right now, only has a 15-minute wait. So hopefully we can just jump on that, have some fun, yeah. see where the day takes us. So here's Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, I love this ride, and it's only here. They don't have it in Magic Kingdom, so I think we're going to hit this up. Mad Hatter. You see the Mad Hatter in the yellow teacup? He's got the big hat. There he is. I feel like you don't always see the Mad Hatter, like, actually enjoying the rides with everyone. If it was me, I would be creating all kinds of chaos in this area as that character. Like, it would be so much fun just to interact with all the different groups out here, and especially ride these rides. I might actually do it even though it makes me sick. It's yeah. still fun. <laughs> Wait. Just, just 
say that you know me and they'll give you a special prize. It's a church of double. Ladies and gentlemen, the game with all of the fun standing down the medicine. All of a sudden, I fell. Down, down, down. Oh, look into the white rabbit. Wow. <laughs> See if you can also help. Oh, Mr. Rabbit! Wait! Beans! It went this way. No, no, that way. Right, and the important thing. Right, and the important thing. The sun is flying to the water. Teacup lying doesn't look that bad. We'll just see if Little Man wants to do that. So as we're waiting here for the Mad Tea Party, across the way is the Mad Hatters, um, which is like, I think it's like a hat store. But if you're doing the egg hunt, I just found the white rabbit egg up in the window. Oh, and I just spotted Pinocchio and Geppetto. All right, I think we picked a good one. Yeah. So we're gonna turn it this way, and we're gonna go super fast. Yeah. You just gotta remember, you gotta remember to stay seated. Yeah, Steve is not on this one with us. He, his stomach would not be able to handle this. Alrighty, enjoy your spin. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh, Caleb, you're making us go too fast. You're too fast. Sit down. Stay seated. There you go. Oh my goodness, we're going too fast, you guys. <laughs> Stop, okay. Stop. Oh no! Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, now we're going. I'm getting super dizzy. I'm not. You're not? All right. Bye -bye. Oh, all done. Maintain it with that door shut until your teacup runs out of steam. Oh, are you dizzy? <laughs> Let's get out. Hold on, we gotta wait. Down, gather your belongings, and you're head to the nearest exit gate. Okay, now I can get up. That was fun. Heading back through the hub, we're gonna start making our way to California Adventure because that is where we're having lunch. Lunch is in about 30 minutes, so I think I'm gonna try and get a quick shot of the castle for you guys. There it is, Sleeping Beauty Castle, so pretty. Everybody and here comes the Disneyland band. As we are heading out, I think we're gonna make a quick pit stop in the Candy Palace. It's been a minute since we've been there. It's always kind of fun to see what they've got going on in there. Ooh, looks like they're making Easter eggs today. Those look good. They're making Easter eggs. Why? Why? Because Easter's coming. Pretty cool, huh? Just a little look at all the Disney sweets. Hey, Daddy. What? Oh my goodness, look at that thing's enormous. It's a pineapple cookie. Pretty awesome, right? And look at these ones. Look at these cake pops. This one looks like a little bunny. And then this one looks like a little, like a chick. Oh, Caleb, look at this one. Right. A s'mores cereal treat bar. Oh my. <laughs> this is exactly what I just pointed out. 
Look at this. S'mores. S'more cereal bar. Whoa. These here are like Steve and Mike. These are our favorite. The toffee bits. Oh my goodness. These are so delicious. Super addicting too. And then, oh, and there's the popcorn that Caleb loves. Find anything good? So, question for you. I think we all talked about like churros, how it's not our thing. Uh -huh. What do you think is my favorite in this entire store? I was going to say the toffee thing. Yes. Okay, I was just <laughs> talking about it. Right here. And they repackaged oh, yeah. it. So. Yeah, it looks a little different now. Over here, they have the little cocoa tins. And so a while back, they used to have these cocoa tins. They were a little different. And they used to also have coffee ones as well. And I remember I bought them all. And I used to have a little cluster of these on my kitchen counter way back in the day, uh, back at our old rental house. I don't know what happened to those. And then, of course, if you want your fortune read, Esmeralda is here for that. Okay, we're going to take a look at the Main Street Theater real quick. Look. Yeah, that's real. She's a real lady giving out tickets. No, it's big. <laughs> Why is it big? Uh, just, I, I don't know. She's been here a long time, man. All right, let's go inside. <gasps> Look at the movies they're playing. They got all the old ones. They got some playing crazy going on. I love this place. We can just come in here to this darkened room and seeing all the old classic, the black and white Mickey shorts, the ones that started it all. There's a little like high rise here too for like little kids so they can see when it, in case it gets busy in here. But I have to admit, I like this a lot more than like another, you know, souvenir store that we have at Magic Kingdom. So we've had friends say, I don't know how you get Caleb to watch some of those classic cartoons. Yeah. He loves it. He, does, he, does. he also likes black and white like live action movies as well. Yeah. So just expose them to him. I like, think it's because we have Turner Classic Movies on at home yeah. all the time. So it's just like a it's regular part of the household, paper. right? Yeah. So. All right, and I think that's going to do it for us this time here at Disneyland. We're going to start making our way over to California Adventure for lunch. Yeah. It is nice that the sun is now coming out as we make our way into Disney California Adventure, but it's still, there's a nice breeze going on. This is great. All right, we've made it to Buena Vista Street. We've got about 10 minutes before lunch, so we're gonna do some shopping real quick. Okay, if you didn't know, Caleb is obsessed with these machines. I need a little one. You need that one? I want a little one. So he loves the souvenir, the pressed penny ones. And then last night, we don't have them on him, but we at the Grand Californian, he got the little gold coins. And I have to admit, those were pretty cool. Is this what you want? Is this what you want your souvenir to be? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like that much. Okay, you can so. still pay for $190. Well, we're not going to get $190 worth. But um, it shows, I guess this is only $3. Yeah, last night the coins were like 20 bucks, But it's kind of nice because I can pay with Apple Pay on here. Okay, pick one. Here it goes. Oh, can you see it? I want to get this one. I think that's the one you got. You got three, and you're all they're all different ones. You got a world of color, Little Mermaid, and what was oh Midway Mania. Hey Dai, is this what? money? Well, it's a pressed penny, so not anymore. But it's pretty cool, huh? And I and why got circle one? Hmm? Why is there a circle one? Oh, that's show, so that, that's the actual penny. That's how it starts. And when it presses it, it presses it into these shapes. So pretty cool, right? Yeah. Awesome. All right. All right, let's go look around. Yeah. And of course, he found the collectible medallions too. <laughs> that We still got a little bit of time, so we're going to make, make it across the way to Elias and Company. Whoops, never mind. Steve just got the notification that our table is ready. Just received the text right at 11 o'clock, which is our reservation time. We're ready. Let's go. Oh, Carthay Circle. I haven't been here in a minute, and this is probably our favorite place in all of Disneyland to eat. It's so good. It's like great food, great cocktails, just amazing all around. Carthay Circle world premiere. And there's Mickey. Oh, and there's Chip and Dale. They're all coming out today. All right, so 
we got a nice little table here in the lounge. Yeah. Here's a quick look at their lounge alfresco dining menu. So yes, this is different from the main restaurant upstairs, but this menu has some of my favorite stuff, including the Vietnamese twice cooked beef lettuce wraps. Um, the bao buns have really caught my eye and I think that's gonna interest little man. Lots of good stuff going on here. No, I got these three. You did get those. Yeah, what and at the hotel I got the circle ones. Which ones do you like better? Do you like the press pennies or the circle medallions? I, I love both. Oh, you love both, okay. I love all of them. Oh, and our food just arrived. Now again, this, now this is probably my favorite thing here. It's the Vietnamese twice cooked beef lettuce wraps and it's served with a pineapple mint salsa. This is so delicious. I will say though, I know I've said this before in our vlogs, but as you can see, it is a lettuce wrap. Before the days of the pandemic, this was actually served as a taco in a crunchy shell. It was my favorite thing here. This is still good because the meat hasn't changed, um, but I would much rather have a taco than a lettuce wrap. And then this is something we've never had before. This is what Steve ordered. This is the spring roll with spicy crab served with pickled cucumber, edamame, and Thai basil. How's yours? I'm really enjoying it. I don't think you would though. Okay. Um, it's a spring roll, so it has that like clear wrapper on that outside, so you don't have that like cook, you know, texture crunch that you would have. Oh. Okay. Um, but it's very fresh. It's very fresh ingredients with that spicy crab. It's got a nice bite to it as well. Um, but overall, I think it's a great appetizer. So it gives you that Southern California profile that Carthay is all about, right? Mm. So that's actually a running theme for all the food here at Carthay. Very good. And because the food here is always so delicious, we decided to try one more thing. These are the bao buns of soy ginger braised pork belly. And this is served with a cucumber kimchi. And we decided, since Little Man is a big fan of these as well, we decided to get two orders. So one for Steve, one for me. <laughs> and of course, <laughs> some for Kim. <laughs> yep. What do you think, bud? Mr. Bao Man? Good? Awesome. Yeah. So Caleb and I split the first bao bun. What do you think? It's pretty good. It's very heavy. Yeah. So, like, there's a lot of small bites here in this off fresco menu that I was concerned, like, is this going to be enough for us? Like, right. we're good. Like, I'm going to be pretty stuffed, honestly. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, he had to buy the mine as well. So I think he's going to be okay. I, I don't know where we're going to have to stop, but we agreed earlier on, like, there's a kid's quesadilla on here for like 13 bucks. Like. He doesn't really love quesadillas that much. Right. So we're like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> we try to get him to talk or talk him into something, but he's like, no, no, no. no. So we knew he was gonna like bow, so he's having a little bit of this. We'll probably get something on the road and figure yeah. out what is gonna be his like lunch. But um, this is a great like fuel for us, me and Mike, to make it the seven hour drive home. For sure. Yeah, look at Okay. I can Whoa. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, I I can do any tricks, you know. Oh yeah. I do any tricks. Like in that dark cat movie, you can do any tricks. <laughs> that dark cat. And that and that and that and that dog try and try to skid away and go like this and go like this. And go like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we watched that dark cat the other day. The original one. The original one. Yeah. And run cat run too. So All right, and with that, I, I, I don't think there's anything better than a farewell lunch here at Disney. So we all had a wonderful time, including Little Man. Uh, but I think now it's time to hit the road. So it's a perfect uh, fuel for a six hour drive, yeah. right? <laughs> no, it's a, it's a perfect swan song for this entire Disney vacation. Yeah, so for sure. we're very happy. We're gonna head out to the tr tram, get on the road, get home to Skylar and just Get back to our regular routine. Yep. All right, here we go. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And from our magic family to yours, enjoy. enjoy.